Welcome to Akamai Developer for Application Security. My name is Mike Ellison, Developer Advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I'm here to present you with our training course, Akamai Developer for Application Security. In today's video, we will showcase everything you need to know in order to create an Akamai delivery configuration. We will be onboarding my test domain and application www.securitylevelup.eu behind a valid Akamai delivery configuration so that we can afterwards add in our security settings. In order to create our Akamai delivery configuration, we are going to continue the work after we've set up our workstation with Postman, installed the Akamai Postman collection and environment. And through that, we're going to be utilizing the folder property manager API in which you will find several requests that will allow you to create a delivery configuration from scratch. In short, we are going to be creating a delivery configuration tied to a specific product, Akamai's Ion product. We will create the ancillary features such as a content provider code or CP code, as well as an edge hostname so that we know where to route www.securitylevelup.eu to the Akamai platform. And finally, we will be creating our configuration, adding in the right set of variables and hostnames, update the rules with our CP code and edge hostname, and finally, of course, activate the configuration to our Akamai staging and Akamai production platform. In the previous video, you've seen me add the contract ID and group ID. So if you look here at the list products, you will see here that we have our contract ID set up in our environment. If we run this particular request, you can see now that we have several products available under this particular contract and yours can differ depending on what you are entitled to on your account. We have download delivery, we have security failover, but we also have Akamai Ion and we're utilizing the code name PRD Fresca for that. So I'm going to highlight that, set the product ID. And next up, you're going to need to create a CP code or content provider code. This is a unique six or seven digit ID that will allow you to be used in delivery configuration, traffic reporting, uh, and including billing and monitoring as well. For this request, we're going to be making a post request it's the first time we're actually going to create something. We're going to make a request to slash Pappy, uh, Property Manager API uh, V1 CP codes, and we're going to supply our contract ID and group ID. And in the body of the request here, we need to specify a product ID, which we have, which is the PRD Fresca. And we need to specify a CP code name, which we'll be doing right now by updating the variable. Under CP code name, I will type in www.securitylevelup.eu and I'll save that. Let's run the request. And as you can see here, we get a response 201 created. It says CP code link, and you will actually see the actual CP code ID in the part that says CPC underscore 11752172. This is our CP code ID. The second thing that we need to create is an Edge hostname. And an Edge hostname is a unique Akamai concept, which is a hostname, a DNS hostname, that will allow you to map your customer facing, your hostname, your application hostname towards the Akamai platform on a DNS level. So while a user in their browser would type in www.securitylevelup.eu, that needs to be mapped towards Akamai, and for that we're utilizing this concept called Edge Hostnames. We typically recommend by best practice to tie the two together. So if you have www.securitylevelup.eu, your Akamai Edge Hostname would be www.securitylevelup.eu.akamized.net or .edgesuite.net or in certain cases also .edgekey.net. This is to map it to the Akamai platform. In order to do that, we are going to be creating an Edge hostname with the post request, create Edge hostname. Again, here we have a post request. We're sending it to the Edge hostnames operations in our Property Manager API, specifying the contract ID and group ID, as well as our product ID, which in this case is again Akamai Ion, PRD Fresca. And we're going to be utilizing a so-called domain prefix, which is our property hostname. 
as well as the domain suffix akamized.net. So again, we'll end up with www.securitylevelup.eu.akamized.net. Now the secure network here and the IP version behavior are to make sure that it ends up at our Akamai platform and supports IPv6. If you're looking for the values on this, please take a look at our API documentation. So let's set the property hostname variable. We'll be setting the variable to the same hostname, let's say. So let's actually run our request to create our Edge hostname. And there we go, we get a 201 created, an Edge hostname link similar to the CP code. It has created a unique Edge hostname with the ID 4853139. That said, it has now created the www.securitylevelup.eu.edgesuite.net and it will take around three minutes or so to create that Edge hostname, but we can already continue with our progress. Now, next up, we need to create our delivery configuration. We have here the request to create a delivery configuration prepared. Again, we're going to be making a post request, this time to the properties operation in Property Manager API. Again, we're specifying our contract ID and group ID and make sure that it ends up in the right place. As you can see on line four here, we're specifying again Akamai Ion PRD Fresca as our product ID and our property name, which will be the name of the Akamai configuration will be set to www.securitylevelup.eu. You can change this to any type you want. And again, best practice is to uh, use a easy to understand name. And in this case, since we're only having one host name in our configuration, it's easy to use the same one. We're going to, of course, create version one and we are going to be utilizing the latest rule format. So let's hit send. And there we go, we get a 201 created, we get the property link and it has created the property ID PRP underscore 703111. So I'm going to set that as our property ID and also version one as our property version because we'll be needing that in the next requests. So now that we've created our delivery configuration, we need to ensure that inside of that configuration named www.securitylevelup.eu, we need to add in our host names. And for that, we have our put request. We're going to be making a request to the slash properties. In this case, the slash property ID, which is the ID that we've just created, as well as the first version. And we're going to say, please CNAME the Edge hostname. So we have the property hostname here, which is www.securitylevelup.eu. That is our from. And we're going to be CNAMing that to the Edge hostname that we've created. Now, I haven't set that yet, so I'm going to update the variable. And as mentioned, that is securitylevelup.edgesuite.net. Click on save. And let's run the request. As you can see, we get a 200 OK in response and we have set the property version one and made sure that we added our www.securitylevelup.eu and CNAMed that to www.securitylevelup.eu.edgesuite.net. Now the next step that we need to do is we need to actually update the configuration's rules. Here we have a put request in order to update the configuration rules. Again, we are going to be utilizing the property ID and version. And in the body, you can specify the entire set of rules in JSON format. I'm going to run this request to update the rules. As you can see, I have a 200 OK in response. The property ID has now been updated. It has set all the right rules to it. So now what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be activating our configuration. So here we have the activate configuration request. We're going to be making a post request, specifying our property ID and sending it to the right contract and group. And of course, we already have specified our property version, but there are three more variables that we need to do add in. In order to activate this, we need to specify which network we can send our request to. In this case, we have the option for staging or production. First, I will send it to staging. You can specify any type of version notes that you want. So I'm just going to write down first version. And you can also add in an email address that will allow you to specify where you want this to be sent to. I'm going to be using my email address for that I'm going to hit save all right now that we've set our variables let's actually run the request to activate the configuration 
Let's click on send. And there we go. We have a 201 created, which means our configuration www.securitylevelup.eu has now been created. You also have an activation ID that is unique to this activation. Activations to staging will take roughly around three to five minutes and on production it will take around seven to 10 minutes or so. So let's actually run a second request by updating our variable network to production to ensure that this also gets activated onto production. And there we go. We have received a 201 created, again, activation, different activation ID here. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're actually activating a Akamai delivery configuration, it is also doing validation checks. It's actually going through the configuration, making sure that there is no manual errors inside of the JSON. We've created our Akamai ION configuration, which is Akamai's flagship web performance product. And in doing so, by having activated this, our hostname, www.securitylevelup.eu, can now be tested to see how it behaves behind the Akamai platform. And of course, we can finally continue and add in our application security settings by creating an application security configuration. I hope this video has been helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you again in our other videos. Thank you very much for watching and happy optimizing.